Hi guys and welcome to your Divine Masculine Tarot Love Reading here. We're going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here in relation to your Twin Flame connection. These are of course going to be general messages guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle here and see what messages are coming in for you. Okay, the Queen of Cups, which sort of come out in reverse, hasn't she? First and foremost, I can sense that, you know, the person that you're dealing with here, I feel like there's a sense of emotional immaturity or emotional um, juvenile energy here. I feel like your person may have a lot of growing up to do, or your person is someone who is playing games. So your DM here in this case, I feel like is still playing games here. I, I feel like they could be playing mind games, or they could be playing games in a sense where they feel like, you know... Um, they have to compete for you and your attention here, or maybe you feel this way. You um, feel as though you have to constantly compete for their, you know, um, their maturity here doesn't necessarily match yours, and you feel like you have to compete for their attention and, um, you know, their love and their devotion here, and it shouldn't have to feel as exhausting and, and emotionally draining as it does here, guys. Um, Queen of Cups here, I feel like your DM here has a hard time here really um, sort of processing their emotions. I feel like they have a hard time dealing with emotions and um, whenever they're hurt or angered here, they tend to lash out. And you'll notice that they either say some very hurtful and mean things, which I feel like they do not mean, but when your person is hurting, they want to hurt you, okay? And I guess it makes sense because, you know, they say that people that are hurt tend to, ha tend to hurt others the most. So I feel like your person has a hard time processing their emotions. I can also see that with the Page of Pentacles and the, the Page of Wands energy, I feel like your person, there is there is someone here, I feel like, around them, okay? Because the Three of the three of Cups tells us that, there, the, not the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords tells us that there is a third party um, energy, okay? A third party energy here who's that has disrupted the flow and the balance and the equilibrium of this connection so there is someone else that your person may be involved with or there is an ex um, the energy of an ex that is coming up around your person and they still may be emotionally stuck on them okay and if they're not emotionally stuck on the actual ex then they may be still stuck on the hurt like there's a lingering hurt or there's some lingering emotions there so and I feel like that is disrupting your the balance of this connection, you know, the equilibrium, the flow, okay, that's causing some sort of disruption there, guys. Um, someone here, I feel like, is really over applying and overextending themselves in this situation. Is it your energy? Is it your DM? But it feels a little imbalanced. It feels a little one-sided here. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of friction here between you and your DM's energy here. Um, there's a lot that's going on here. I feel like for some of you, um, you know, you feel as though your DM here is not ready for a serious relationship or they're not ready for a commitment. They may tell you that they are, but then the actions go ahead and contradict what they say and they do otherwise here. And for a lot of you, I feel like watching this, you want to settle down, okay? You want something serious. You want something long-term. You want something stable and committed. And you you know, you know, want someone who's going to be there for you. And you, you don't want someone who's just going to be this fluctuating, fluctuating energy, someone who comes in and out. Your DM, though, I don't feel like they're ready for a relationship. I don't think so. I did mention earlier on that I feel like they just have a lot of growing up still to do. And I feel like, look, maybe they've never really had a long-term relationship. Um, or it just could be that your person here just still needs, you know, they need to do some self-searching, some um, some growing, some evolving, some pushing past boundaries. I just feel like, you know, there's still some self-exploring that needs to happen here. So I don't know that the two of you, and look, the imbalance here for some of you, maybe it's not necessarily 
a third party situation okay whilst I do feel like there is someone here around this person whether or not they actually tell you this is a different story but I do feel like there's something here that um, is sort of causing friction here in this connection and it's sort of causing and it's it's the very reason that's preventing this connection from moving forward here um, for some of you it could be what was I saying yeah so if it's not an actual third party situation it just could be that your person here is um, the two of you are imbalanced okay the two of you are out of sync with one another and the two of you aren't vibrating aren't vibrating on that same emotional frequencies like you want a relationship they think they want one but they don't they want you but not the actual relationship or you know they think they want a relationship but they're not ready for it yet you know the two of you are just notice how the scales are imbalanced here um, it's it's a little bit level it's a little bit one-sided okay it's not very well balanced here for some of you I feel like you know your DM he knows that they've messed up okay they they know that they've messed up with you and I feel like maybe now they're trying to really um, over apply and over extend themselves you know now they're really trying to make up for their mistakes and their past actions and for the fact that they've hurt you okay they know that they've caused a lot of friction and a lot of tension and a lot of fighting and arguing and disagreeing and you know a lot of hurt and pain in this connection and now they have to fight for your attention and you know fight for you know fight for you and fight for your love um, they know that they've created this imbalance they've noticed they know that they've created this you know um, disconnection between the two of you this um, imbalance in energies here and emotions here they are going because I feel like for some of you I, I see that your DM he may be rushing back in to talk to you or is rushing back in um, to communicate with you but for others of you I feel like your DM here is sort of maybe they're waiting until I get I get a sense that they're waiting for you until it's safe for you for them to communicate with you or it's until it's safe for them to talk to you because they get a sense that you might reject them okay you might reject them here um, you might not respond here so it's like they're waiting for something for, I feel like yeah for some of you your DM here is the page of wands energy where they're going to maybe want to try to come back into the picture okay and they're going to want to try and make things work okay so much so that they're try going to try and bend backwards here to try and you know make it right or to try and salvage and repair what the two of you once had because they know they messed up they know they screwed up they know they hurt you here they know that they've done something that they should have done and they know they knew that you know they know that they're the reason for this current disconnection and they know that they're responsible for you know what's really going on in your connection they're responsible for all this friction and for all this frantic energy so they get that for others of you I feel like your DM here is just they're waiting okay maybe they're waiting until you know the right time to speak to you maybe they're waiting until you know you process all of the emotions the pain and the hurt and then you're ready to talk to them because I feel like it's almost like they're waiting here or they're waiting to find the right words or they're, they're, they're waiting for something here so they may take a little bit longer to come in here um, but for others of you I feel like yeah your DM here will be rushing whilst for some of you it's like they're waiting or they could send off a message and they constantly be waiting by their phone to see whether or not you respond or whether or not you know you know you're gonna leave them on um, on read here or whether or not you know um, you've got their message and it's being sent it's almost like you know they're really nervous here it's like they're waiting by their phone they're waiting for the text message here I do see that there is a message coming in from the page of Pentacles here okay um, so I do feel like and for some of you this is a message that you've been waiting for it is communication that you've been waiting for or if we reverse this here and this message comes in for the DM then this this is you replying to them okay this is you replying to your DM or this is you messaging your DM and again you know they've been waiting for this message they've been waiting to hear from you they've been waiting for communication here so this is interesting there's I feel like a bit there's a, a bit of a frantic energy here between the two of you and I feel like there's a lot here um, there's a lot that's going on here right now but I feel like um, there is going to be communication and it's um, it might give you a chance here it might give you a chance to mend things here it just it might give you a chance to maybe clear the air here um, and possibly heal some things but I do see that there is 
incoming communication. For some of you, this communication is going to happen a lot sooner. For others of you, this communication is going to take a little bit longer. But I do feel like there is a message. It's either this message is coming in from you or this message is coming from you to your DM. But I feel like they're really excited to hear from you. They're really relieved that you're responding to them. They're really relieved that you know, you're know you answering back and you're receptive and responsive here to their energies. All right, guys, and these are your reading, and this is your um, reading. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.